So, Martin, you know, there's people out there who are not satisfied with their, their current situation. The long distance coverage? No, being human. Oh. They want to be something else. But what if you want to be a bird, Martin? If you want to be a bird, you got to sacrifice some things, Martin. Yes, you do. What do you think, Martin? What you got to sacrifice? Uh, fingers. That would make sense. Yeah, so you know what? That's probably next, but try again. I'll give you one more time. Uh, reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reality. <laughs> Good, Good one, call, Will. Will. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Take another guess. Uh, let's see. Your diet. Oh, Martin, you make a terrible parrot. Oh. You would make an awful parrot, Martin. You're you don't right, know. Right. You got to sacrifice ears, Martin. Nah, Parrot, that's true. Parrots ain't got no ears. What well, I gotta hear? They're just hidden. Yeah, well, you know what? But they don't have those big floppy things like no. we do, man. We gotta cut that shit off. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. we're pretty much elephants compared to the <laughs> to the parrot world, Martin. Look at this shit. We're Dumbo. <laughs> gotta cut those motherfuckers off, Martin. And well, there's a guy over in jolly old UK who said, you know what? I'm willing to make that sacrifice. This man right here, the parrot man, is what they call him. And he was willing to cut his ears off so that he could be closer to his, his feathered friends. Since when did parrots have three horns sticking out the top I of their I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck this guy is doing. <laughs> what kind of parrots is he talking about? People, if you look. <laughs> Apparently, parrots from fucking hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> Demon parrots and shit. Animal lover. I'm looking at this on the mirror.co.uk. Said this man has 100 tattoos. He loves animals, especially parrots, and he cut off his ears to look more like his parrots. Ted Richards, who was 56, Martin, obsessed by his pets. Ellie, Tiaka, Timne, Jake, and Booby. Can't forget Booby, man. Booby was his main inspiration. (laughs) So I've heard. Now, this guy right here, they said that he went and had... He had it surgically removed. So he was safe. And like he went to the kitchen and got a knife and did it himself. I love the parrot is on his head, laid out like, bruh. Yeah, really, man. Come on. <laughs> that parrot is like, you are not us, man. <laughs> Shit. You are not a parrot. How many times I got to tell you? God damn. <laughs> now nah, I've seen everything. <laughs> this parrot, <laughs> parrot is like, fuck, man. <laughs> Open the window. Let me leave. <laughs> Let me leave already. So the... You know, I'm looking all this to go through looking like a parrot. And for me, I'm saying, well, <clears throat> that's a lot of stuff to remove because if I saw this guy on the street, well, I'd probably fucking run for one. OK, but let's just say that, you know, I'm with him and he told me what that, you know, guess what animal I am. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Well, like you crash head first into a Hobby Lobby. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and then got gang raped by a bunch of women with those uh, bedazzlers and shit. Yeah, like, you look at him and you go like, so how's that going fighting Batman? <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? At any other time, we read about dudes like this in comic books. He's a villain. Mm-hmm. He's just setting up for a life of crime. Right. Somewhere. But He's cutting off all other options. <laughs> he, he's, forcing his, he's forcing himself. Into criminal activity, man. Because that's the only job he's going to be able to get after a while. So after I cut off the ears, there's nothing else I could do. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't hire me. <laughs> Why'd you do it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Why'd you? You know, never mind. <laughs> yeah, and here's the surgery right here, Martin, where the ear was removed. Ooh. Ugh. Painful. Ooh. Painful. And he's going to have to go to a life of crime, because really, who's going to hire this dude? And he's going to be mad as you. Well, I don't know why they didn't hire me. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I look like an upstanding citizen. I'm a parrot man. I'm a parrot man. How dare you? You've, surely you've heard of me. What do you mean I can't work as a kindergarten counselor here? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm a decent man. Yeah, Batman went to catch his ass soon one day. But I'm looking at him, and I'm looking at him before he got the, the surgery done. And before he got the surgery done, he actually looked more like a parrot then. Oh, really? Than he did, than he, than he does now. <laughs> Here's a video from the BBC. Apparently, this guy's becoming kind of famous for his look. And this is him before the ear operation. Wow, he looked just so like I, a I hate <laughs> <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Look at that. I told you. <laughs> it's funny how like, keeping those ears, like, he looked just like a parrot, man. Look at him. The parrot man, is that right? Apparently, yeah. get the fuck away from it's me, man. Guys, on Facebook, my name used to be Ted the Parrot Man. Yeah. But they told me to change it, over. Because of the risk involved and things like that, they only have one, you know, just in case there's any complications. And I had my tongue split at the same time, same day. 
Uh, I used to self hire him and things like that. He's got spikes all in his nose and everything. Okay, how does he afford this? I, I don't know. Whenever I see these things, I'm like, where do you get the money for that? Because that is expensive. Yes. The, the tongue and the eyes, he had done in the same day. So. And he looks like he's just living in a shitty little apartment. Well, that's what happens when you spend all your money to make yourself like a fucking bird. <laughs> you ain't got money for anything else. You, you know, you, but I mean, you got to have a source of income too. I don't know. Maybe there's a freak show down the street. I don't know, man. All I right. don't know. You know, shit. maybe he hangs out in branches all day. These birds say, I don't fucking know what he does. All right. And things like that. And um, no, I don't do it now because I got. That dog is terrified. <laughs> 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 that dog is like, I had to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the dog is like, this is madness right here. <laughs> He'll tell you that he does this to be different. Yeah. That he's doing this because he, he wants to take, first of all, he says, if I'm in the same space as a handicapped person and everybody's looking at that person, you know, I feel good about taking the attention away. Turns out, though, this guy got made fun of for his ears when he was a kid. So he has a big complex about his ears, man. Uh, yeah, he was talking about how people used to talk about him and make fun of him. And I get the feeling that he's probably not the most attractive guy. And it, maybe he was and just didn't have good self-esteem. But he said people made fun of his ears when he was coming up. So I think those ears, I think he hated his ears since the early age. So it's like Michael Jackson and his nose. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. man. You know, he's growing yeah, up that, hating that, his ears. That, uh, that, I forgot what, the, what you call it, but yeah, no matter how small his nose got, it always looked big to him. Exactly. And the same with this guy. Yeah, and this guy just said, fuck it, you know what, I'm at the age now where we can split ways. <laughs> you know, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you do your thing. <laughs> you know, you do, do you. <laughs> you know, I'll do me. <laughs> See you ears. <laughs> You're free. <laughs> like, like those ears with Siamese twins and shit. You know, we gotta be separated. We don't want to go. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, Ellie pops, Ellie. He don't give a fuck about that dog. Man, that dog does look sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He don't give a fuck about that dog. He's in the, he's another room partying with these parents. <laughs> dog ain't invited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a high school click now, you know. <laughs> the dog, the dogs look at the camera crew. <laughs> you guys going to take me with you, right? Get me the fuck out of here. Remember you promised I unlocked the door? <laughs> you know, it's like a high school click. It's like, you know, they tell that dog all the time, this is a bird party on right. you. Sorry, right. man. <laughs> dog maybe in next time. Yeah, maybe next time. You know, get some, get some feathers or some shit. Come back. <laughs> dog in there by himself. <laughs> uh, but this is a... Uh, this is this this is something that people look at and they often say, you know, this is weird, this is crazy. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. This guy right here, I admire him. I look I actually look up to this guy. That's that's commitment. You know, that's a guy that knows what he wants in a world where people don't know what they want. They're all wishy-washy, people ain't got no goals, people can't do can't make a decision. This man right here committed to to one of the biggest things you can you can commit to. It's like like Mr. Potato Head, you can't put those ears back on. I don't. Maybe you can. I don't know. But you know, it's, it wouldn't wouldn't be the same. But you know, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I mean, not the ultimate, but he made a big one. <laughs> Ears. Yeah, I think the <laughs> ultimate sacrifice is next. <laughs> <laughs> and what would that be? Life. <laughs> no, his genitals. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, parrots are smooth down there. Yeah. Can you get it to where you can? I can just tuck them in <laughs> into my body. You know, he. You can he, split it, make it a tail. He is t <laughs> like a cockatoo. He is talking about getting a. <laughs> Did you just make a pun? <laughs> Man, you motherfucker! See, I. <laughs> you, you, you motherfuckers make so many puns that you got me doing it now, and I don't even know it. You assholes! <laughs> God damn it! I will not be you. You will not turn me into you. Room for one are, more. Are you too, Chris? I will not be you motherfuckers at all. Uh, no, no, you will not do this to me. This motherfucker, yeah, you know, I'm a, if I had to change myself into that, <laughs> to not be you.